I feel like the tempo is gonna be the thing we're gonna be talking about the most. Can Thamus deal with Arlet in the EXP lane? We're jumping into the first the game, the first Smash best them. of three in the game. In the game? Void. In the day! Someone else take it from here. <laughs> You're doing so good! I left it to dry. <laughs> All right, you know, and as we jump into it, looking how things are going to fall into place here. Yasu, you already shared some of your thoughts about the lineup, but mm -hmm. one thing too, even if you looked at that index before we loaded in, the lineup rating here is in favor of Triple Esports. Yeah, it was actually like 7 point something against 5.6 if I'm not mistaken. So, actually as I told you, uh, Team Triple Esports and looking at the roster, no one has taken something out of the ordinary, even also the comfort picks except for the Sanji, but they seem to be a little bit invading the jungle, passing without allowance. I would say the Thamus is very interesting because that is one of the counters when Arlet was first introduced. As one of the laners mm. not only can sustain against the Arlet, but he's able to fight as well. And boxing the oh. king here goes in. Yeah, early aggression once again. And, you know, we got a little look at the uh, emblems there. Oh. I love this. Felix should be fine here. The, the fact that Troll took that focusing mark emblem, there's some Franco players that actually don't take this. There's some that do. And I think it works out great, especially the fact that you are playing with this lineup that is going for these ISO plays, ISO... Isocentric pickoffs, if you will. Again, the Kadita is there. And really, that's going to help scale up the damage as well throughout yeah. the game. And then having Brune right now and looking at him, I think that the has clause will be the priority for him. So he will be able, with time, to take a 2 to 1 and balance it. Actually, he can defend himself at a certain point. Sano, Sano is actually, I'm, I'm quite. I'm quite curious what can Sano bring up because he's not even a gold lane player, he is a jungle player. Well,. I kind of feel like with junglers, they understand the macro play very, very well, so perhaps that's one reason why they want him there. Now, the turtle is going to be a very interesting point because Triple Esports should be having a good time here on the turtle, but the fact that Box of the King is using the Kupra, he can turn the tables around. We're going to have to fight out for it. MP the King surrounded right now. Still going to be working for it. Gets oh. the hard star. Tarzan will get the turtle here. Triple Esports happy with that. Can they get away from this fight as well? Felix won't be able to land the final slash. So right now, Triple Esports gets that win. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. That was a really good timing, making that retribution, securing that first turtle. Team Triple Esports, actually, this is kind of, I think they are in, in their zone by now. I don't think that they are afraid from being an, on, on an international stage, and ironically enough, they were. I just forgot. <laughs> I kind of I kind of feel like that was a situation where CU Soon was anticipating that perhaps Triple Esport isn't going to fully commit on the turtle, because I saw the movement coming in from Boxy the King. He wanted that level four. Oh. Course. There's the lockdown with the rough waves. Can he actually survive this? Boxy going to flicker around. He's fine. There's the beats come down. Troll will fall in the mid lane. MP the King and the rest of the squad to help Boxy out. So hard, so hard for Team Triple Esports. If you have too much confidence, the recalls from Coffin and also using his spells, not taking the kills down. I think that things wouldn't look as good as Team Triple Esports won. But so far, I think that, and, and also having that matchup between the Thamus and the Arlut, I think, I think it's a... Uh, oh, oh Sanji. <laughs> what is that? Oh, already able to dodge <laughs> that final <laughs> slash, but will inevitably go down. I think I cursed him. I think I just said like <laughs> he, will, he will take that battle down and he went down. For now, the first three minutes, it is all see you soon. They got two kills over zero, and they have a very small lead when it comes to gold. The question is, Triple Esports with this draft, what are they trying to achieve? When is the power spike? When will they get rolling? I think for Triple Esports, I think that they will need a l until mid-game. I think mid-game will be a really comfort zone for Team Triple Esports, but looking here at the, at the itemizations between both of them, mm, he already managed to get the has clause. He's utilizing, or like he's focusing on himself to take the damage and not take on not taking it on the defense side. So I'm more focused today, as I told you, on Sano because he will be a first time. Uh, play. He's first time playing for me at least. And honestly, I'm looking at this Thomas as well from Sanji because it seems like perhaps he wants to build a little bit more attack speed. So I want to see if he's going for more defensive or uh, offensive build here because it might be a corrosion scythe Thomas. Look, there's something that right now I notice, and that's when when uh, oh there was a flicker. Oh, already uh. catching raw there. Boxy gonna be a little bit too late. Felix gonna be in trouble now too. Has to flicker out. The battle for this turtle gonna play out. MP the King joining the fight. Gonna chase down Troll. The damage is there. 
as he's looking to get the kill. Felix falls, but so does Troll. Turtle gonna be secured by MP the King. Now Tarzan in trouble as he falls there as well. See you soon, comes out swinging. And honestly, looking at that kind of situation, see you soon right now is really catching Triple Esports whenever they're a little bit lacking. Sanji just now, I feel like it was a good play going for Sorry and Felix, but I don't know. The Turtles should be the priority. He should be helping out his team because at that point, it looks like Tarzan was alone. Yeah, and actually, oh, he, oh, he took that blue buff. Nice, nice. Well done by Troll. But uh, looking on the other side of the lane, I saw that Bruno was taking the first turret off the game, which is also a trade somehow between between seeing all these kills go down for Team CU soon. Taking a turret was kind of equalizing that equation. But bringing up, bring, uh, taking back to the, the point where I was saying that when Franco hooks someone, when he ults someone, when he focuses on someone, uh, will, will he do it? He's going to be looking it. for Kose here, but the rest of the team is there. Oh. he jumps in, finds the rage. Troll is down in an instant, taken down so easily. And with that, Cuffin also on the bottom side. Sanji has to get out himself. MP the King is hungry, gets a kill. Solo in the bottom side. Now back up the top. Triple E Sports trying to keep it together. Boxy going to jump in once again, but it's Tarzan. He's quite tanky. So just back and forth action here. Whenever I bring up this topic, he always dies. He always falls down. Troll, I'm oh, I it cannot, is. I cannot bring it up. You can't. They might actually go for this, but once again, it is Tarzan. So you know, on this box, he's safe for now. Something that I do want to point out, and now see you soon. Apparently, they're really picking up the tempo, especially having Sorry and Felix. He's the one really engaging everything, and Troll has not been finding those iron hooks. I kind of feel like it's one iron hook away from Triple Esports oh, winning. Yeah. But now I don't know. Boxy again, gonna find Sano. The rest of the team trying to get here in time. Final slash with hard guard, and that's a kill under the turret. See you soon. I'm pressing the gas here. He left the XP duty. He is not. Sorry for the but he is Felix on the top lane. He joins his team as partial Roamer, I would say, because Joy is taking care of both mid lane and bot lane. But what's remarkable, whenever the uh, Bloody Hunt is used, we will see that Boxy, the king, will join the team oh, fight oh. flicker, but he didn't find it. Oh. Yeah, Boxy once again gonna jump in. Tarzan able to secure the turtle, though. Can they keep Troll alive? They're trying. As Troll falls, they have to give him up, but Triple Esports gets the objective. Right now, Siu Soon has so many problems that Triple Esports can't really answer. Boxy the King, great engages. Oh, same as Sorry and Felix. Again, with the final slash. Felix, will he be able to get away? Sanji trying to hold it down the front line. They keep the turret alive for now. So there's still some fight here from Triple Esports. Well, Sanji, whenever we see that there's a Thamus playing against an Arlot, we expect the Thamus to win. But there is no, e there is no opponent against Sanji in his own lane because you have MP, the king, controlling Thumbs Down, controlling the XP lane, both with the mid lane. This is actually something quite interesting. When Arlot found that he's having trouble um, playing it out against Sanji and the Thumbs, he instantly went for that crowd control approach with his own team. I gotta say, Siu soon has their own timer because even since yesterday, they're willing to sacrifice their lane for an early rotation. Their macro play here, the thing is, what separates them from other teams, sometimes you wanna gank, sometimes you wanna engage for any of the side lanes. When they do it, it always, almost always works. So I kinda feel like that decisiveness is really putting them different. Oh, oh, that. They're gonna find Boxy here, trying to punish him for jumping in. They do get the kill, still gonna be juking it out here for the buffs. It's gonna be secured. They get the kill and they're still looking for more. This right. is why I said almost always works. <laughs> almost. Well, uh, Team CSUN are known for their utility junglers, but seeing that they are playing with the Joy right now and executing it that good, they definitely prepared something for uh, for the uh, international stages. But CSUN actually, they have, they have always shown us the need or they are using a pick of Roamer and also they are changing that for a team wise crowd control Roamer. I think that there is a lot of surprises in, on the side of Team soon. Something to note as well, Triple Esports is moving with a 3-2 composition or rotation where... Oh, oh yeah, Tarzan's gonna be gone here. Another great setup Ouch. from Sia soon. Ouch, final slash. He, he literally took him like by the edge of it. Wow. And with that, that's probably going to be just their lore to take. Again, Easy. already with quite a bit of a lead. There's not much Triple Esports can do here. I want to talk about the formation here where, where Triple Esports, they're moving 3-2. to two. Mm -hmm. 
See you soon is moving as a unit, as four, sometimes as five. That's great going up against any kind of pickoffs like the Franco. And Boxy the King oh, engages. Oh. Boxy again gonna find the mark, the rage, all under the tier one turret. MP MP the king with a hard guard in the back side. Finds the Sano, and now another is gonna fall. Tier two, they go. They don't care about these turrets. They put the pressure down even before the Lord makes its way to the bottom. He cannot die. At this moment, he cannot die. MB the king proving right now that he is the king of the jungle. He goes in. He doesn't care about the true damage. He doesn't care about the turret damage. And his team right now with 7k gold lead. Pretty much they don't care about how much HP they lose. And that's why you said whenever, whenever, sorry, I'm Felix decides to go in. It's just about how fast. Yeah, honestly, you see you soon right here. The damage is amazing coming in from Kuse as well as MP the King, but the amount of control, it's it's almost unfair because Triple Esports right now, I kind of feel like if Troll manages to get MP the King, mm -hmm. Boxy as well as Felix will cancel out the all, making it a non-factor. Well, we haven't seen that combo work yet, which is really looking really bad for Team uh, Triple Esports. 11 minutes in and we haven't seen that franco uh, Kadita combo. So they really, really need to do to know what's wrong with their formation, what's wrong with their position, and fix it because we are a few seconds away, maybe from the end. Right now, it really does seem like see you soon with mm. a 9,000 gold lead. The thing is, anyone can engage here. Yeah. And Troll, his hooks, Boxy. I'm afraid, I'm afraid even if he catches someone, the follow-up is just going to be too good that at most, see you soon. Maybe just two will die. That Kufra will take it down. They might jump in once again. Boxy waiting there patiently, but they don't want to overcommit as well. We have seen things before turn around even with this type of lead, but so far for see you soon, they're in complete control. He's taking too much damage, Chaz, and also Sanji, but not the damage they want to take to front anything for their team is just... It's just at this moment stacking numbers up. Team, Team Triple Esports going back into their base in a really early stage of the game, and there is nothing actually to do. Even if you take, if you even if you land an Iron Hook, even if you take someone out from Team C as soon, it's just the Kufra man. It's just the Kufra with the first or even a first flicker. I, I would actually even increase these numbers to 80, 85 percent. Team CU soon are controlling the game. Right now, honestly, I just want to see the items because if CU soon has Athena shields, then even Cuffin will have yeah. enough damage, right? Because the instant burst is gonna get nullified instantly. So at this point, they're really looking at Sano, but it's hard for Sano to position when mm -hmm. we have one, two, three, three members trying to catch you. Well, I just saw that he got the Malefic Royal, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So he will deal some decent damage against the tanky heroes from Team CU soon. But again, CU soon are taking everything all around the map. And if there is any engage from Team Triple Esports, they will just get punished enough. Or punished so hard, actually, because Boxy the King, I don't think that he will be the victim of any of that. And that's something that a lot of people maybe uh, disagree with me upon. I think that the most valuable target to take down before this team fight starts is Boxy the King. And again, Boxy here has just been flying around everywhere. You know, for this game one alone, there's a reason why he has that statistic on this Kufra, and it's a signature for him. Right now, we're looking at two Athena shields coming in from the Romer as well as the yeah. EXP laner. So, but the thing is, there's hope because if Cuffin is able to catch Kuse, I don't think I, I don't think it's gonna be uh, easy to catch Rob. Yeah, it's it's very hard just because he has that purify. So even if you do catch him, as long as he doesn't, he hasn't used his dash. He should be fine. And also, if he catches anyone and leaving Boxy the King free is just a one, like a, it's a, a Sunday morning for him. First kill goes in, ultimate from the Kufra, everything down. Right now, the Lord is marching in. This is going to be a difficult defense for Triple Esports. See if they actually force the situation here. Boxy going to charge up once again. Mid turret can go down. They're doing the work. The final slash, a huge one oh. again from Felix. Going to find Sanji. He falls. Boxy going to charge up, jumps in, forces the flickers out. Can they stay alive? Crystal going to be worked on. Troll still there. Cuffin and Sano. They can't keep it together. Game one goes to see you soon.